and then like tape that on there. Yeah, that's alright video. Yeah, because then you can get like a good amount down the back there. Yeah, and kind of really fill it out. Alright guys, welcome back to the workshop. Um, today we got an awesome one. Um, you might have seen a few videos back, I was working on my boot, like trying to paint it and stuff. Um, and it was going alright, but then, like, after that video, I left it to, like, fully dry properly, and so I, that I could then put the clear coat on with it fully dry. And basically what happened is the paint just cracked. I thought, no, nah, that's okay, I'll sand down the pieces that cracked, and I'll just re, re like, prime and repaint those patches and just like blend it in and then clear coat it tried that and it just was cracking everywhere and in all weird places so i did a lot of research online um, and it turns out most likely what happened was the paint that was underneath that was originally on the boot when it was black was somehow interfering with the paint i was trying to put on and making it crack and just do weird things so um i was here working on my engine bay and i said to connor yo do you want to like just raw the boot like take it right back to the metal um and basically we found a lot of like big big rust problems under there they'd been fixed but they'd been fixed with filler so it wasn't the best so <laughs> we had a bit of a decision to make it was like spend days fairing all that in with like tons of filler and it would look okay but it's a lot of work for what it was um and then a couple of my friends had the idea of, well, you want to put a ducktail on the boot of your of your Nissan. So I was like, yeah. So they were like, well, why instead of fixing all of these problems, boot with filler? Why don't you just make a foam ducktail that's molded into your boot, so it's actually part of the boot. It's not like bolted on. It's just part of the boot. And I thought about it. I was like, hmm. So no, equally seems like a lot of work. And then we actually started looking into it. It would actually mean that a lot of the like work of smoothing the boot, getting the contours right with filler and like the shapes and getting it flat and nice and just generally looking good would be completely covered up by this foam ducktail. So just for easiness sake really, it makes sense to do the ducktail. So pretty much we're going to make a foam ducktail. It's quite a big task, but I mean, we did the bonnet, and the inside of the bonnet and that came out okay. So I figured why not? Let's just keep stepping up that ladder bigger bigger things you know so we've done that um, and uh, I've got some clips of me spraying the filler so I'll put those in now
Okay, yeah, so that was me putting the fillet in. Um, it expands, I think it's something like 30 times uh, the amount of fluid in that bottle. Um, but it's actually surprising how much comes out, like, I thought there would be more. Um, as I'm standing here talking, it's like, it's over there, like, I've done it. This is two cans, um, and I'll explain the mold and how that stuff works a bit better in a second, but, um, it didn't expand as much as I thought it would. I thought it would be a lot more sort of liquid and then expand, but it actually came out like pre-expanded. I had to get that nozzle down into all the small little nooks and crannies and stuff because if I didn't, it would just sort of fill over the top and then leave a massive get air gap underneath. So I really had to like dig the nozzle in. But um, I think we got it. I think we're gonna need possibly like two more cans just to build it up, build it up. Um, but. I'll, give you, I'll show you around the mold and stuff, and it's actually really simple. Um, not a lot to it, it's just a lot of tape, really, and um, some rough cardboard. But probably in this video, just leave it at doing the expanding foam, because we have to let it cure, um, and it does take several days because there's so much of it in one, like, chunk. Um, but we really want to make sure that's really gone off before we start touching it, so I'll uh, show you the mold. Um, Probably have some more clips because I've got to go and get some more expanding foam because I don't think that's enough. It needs to be uh, much taller so we can then trim it back and get the shape we want. Uh, and then the plan will be, I have this massive, massive can, tin of uh, easy body filler. So then basically I'll just go over, get the rough shape I want in the foam, then start like fairing in, shaping it. It's, it's gonna be a big project, but it's gonna be a good one. So yeah, I'll show you this mold and then a few more clips of the foam and then that'll probably be it for part one because we have to let this stuff dry for like, like I said, for like two or three days just to make sure it's 100% like done, you know? But yeah, so I'll show you those mold now. All right, so basically how this works is, um, it's really easy, there's barely any parts and it's so like, it doesn't have to be neat right now because we're just gonna tidy it up once it's dry. Um, but basically what we've got is we've got this, just one big piece that goes all the way around the back here. Um, and that really just provides sort of a backing plate. And if you know it comes down, like this, this, the bottom piece of the boot is in here. Um, and then we made like a shelf to go under that so it could, the foam can sit on this shelf piece and then go behind the boot so we can like fare it up into the ducktail. Um, and then really that's it. We, uh, last night Callum made these two side pieces to create the sort of like, oh, I touched it, to create sort of like the sloped of the sort of look of the ducktail. Um, and then this morning I came in and I just added this structural piece here uh, because this back piece um, was going to be on a lot, uh, under a lot of pressure because of all this foam in here and I didn't want it to like push it, push it away and it just all fall apart, so. To end out this video here we're gonna let that f uh, foam we're gonna let that foam set for at least one to two days maybe a little longer um, and then we will take the mold off and I have still have another can of the spray foam so if I need to add any bits in if any bits get damaged or stuff when we're taking the mold off we can do that um, but for now thank you for watching there'll be a playlist of all the other videos from my car like literally everything we've ever done on my car, and there's there's quite a few, um, either here or here. There'll be a subscribe button here or here as well. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate the subscription. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next episode.